Hello everyone, welcome to my Power Automate desktop series. In this video, I will show you how to merge multiple PDF files into a single PDF file. So let's say we have three PDF files and we want to merge them. Once we run our desktop flow that we will build in this video, we should be able to combine all of them in the sequence of our liking to create a new merged PDF. So let's quickly look at the process flow. Once the flow begins, we request for the folder where all the PDF files are placed. Then we get all those PDF files in that folder where the file name starts with split. We do this because maybe the folder has many files, but we want to select only a few of them to merge. So with this condition, we can eliminate files that we do not need and at the same time decide on the sequence of how the merging should happen. The next step is to validate whether we have enough files. So if there is only one file in that folder then we couldn't merge or we wouldn't need to merge and if we had no files there's nothing to merge really. So if that condition is not met we have to display an alert message and stop the flow. But if we have enough files, that is, we have two or more PDF files that we can merge, we request for the final merged PDF's file name. And once we have that, we can go ahead and merge all those PDFs and place it in the same folder as the original source PDFs. And that would be the end of our flow. So let's get to it. Let's start coding on Power Automate Desktop. On the Power Automate Desktop window, Click on New Flow, give it a name, PDF Merge, and press Enter. We get a blank canvas. Let's start it off by showing the Select Folder dialog. Original PDFs Location. I have a folder named PDF on my C drive, so I can just specify that here as my initial folder. Let's rename the variables to be more appropriate. Original PDFs folder and select folder button. We need this to make sure that the user has not pressed cancel. So let's see whether the user has pressed cancel first and only then we will if, it's, if the user has not pressed cancel, then we can proceed. So we'll say selected folder button, not equal to cancel. We then get the files in the folder, the folder which we've already identified. This is an important step. We're gonna say split star.pdf to make sure only files that start with split and only PDF files are considered. Let's give this an appropriate name, original PDFs. And another important step is under the advanced section, we have to sort by name in descending order. This step ensures that the sequence is maintained. That is split PDF one will be on top, then split PDF two will be second, split PDF three. So that sequence of merging will be maintained. Click on save. Now we need to make sure that we have enough files, right? So let's click and get our if statement. If the count of the original PDFs is greater than one, that means two or more, then we can continue. But let's display an error, let's display an error message if there aren't enough files so let's put an else just in that if and between that if and end and display a message drag it under the else and say not enough files need at least two pdf files to merge let's give it an error icon we don't need the variable here, so let's just remove that and then press save. 
So that portion is covered. Now let's as, let's look at the flow where we have enough files. That is, we have two or more files. We need to then ask for the file name, the merged file name. So we already have it here. Uh, sorry, display input dialog merged file name. What should the merged file merged file name be? Let's give it a default name of merge.pdf. And we will need to give it an appropriate name for the variable. So merged file name. Merged file name button. Now if on the merged file name button, the user presses cancel, then we shouldn't continue. But if they pressed ca uh, not cancel, that means they provided us a file name. Let's go ahead and merge those files. Merge PDF files, drag it and put it right in the center there. So the original PDF files, we have it here. The merged PDF path should be the original PDF folder backslash and then the merged file name. We wouldn't need this variable because we are not going to use it anymore. And then click save. So that covers all the steps that we had identified earlier. So let's go ahead and run this flow. It displays the folder selection uh, dialog box. So that's where you can see here original PDFs location. I'm just going to keep it as CPDF because I know that folder is there. Then it asks for the merged PDF file name. I'm okay with the default value. And that's that. So let's go over to the folders and make sure that we have or the program has done what it was supposed to do. As you can see here, we have the three split PDF files, one, two, three, and then the final new merged PDF file. Let's open them and see whether the program has done the right thing. So the split PDF one has one page, split PDF two has two pages, one of two and two of two, split PDF three has one page, and the final merge PDF, which is the one that our flow created, has four pages in the proper sequence. So PDF one, PDF two, the two pages, and PDF three, page one. So there you have it. That's how you merge PDF files using Power Automate Desktop. Thank you for watching.